Welcome back my children to another Mortal Kombat X video. I will be beginning the Lin Q Tower. Well, not precisely because I already did it four times. I just completed it a while ago for the fourth time. And I ended up getting... Uh, which one was it? Circle of Shadow Sub-Zero once again. And the Epic and Uncommon equipment. I have maxed all the uncommon except the ice bomb. I have it at rank uh, five or six, I think. Then, um, yeah, then the the epic one, the one that you get when you complete the tower, it's at rank rank three. So that's how you know I got I did it four times. For the frost axe, it's rank three. The frost mask is rankless. The cryomancer armor is rank one what else um ice gloves i haven't been able to rank it rank it up and the ice bomb is at rank five six seven okay so since i'm gonna start the the land q tower from the beginning there is 10 days left in 22 hours i think i should be able to complete all 200 matches be before then uh, the attempts reset it at 11 p.m right now it's 11.56 It normally resets at 10pm but I guess the time changed so it's 11 now Anyways, um, at the beginning, well, for the start I'm gonna use my MK11 team I, I had Raiden at first as you guys can see right there But um, I realized that Raiden is unable to be used So I created MK11 to... where did it go? Lin Q, I specifically named it. Where did it go? I know I created this uh press it, press press it, where whatever we call it. Okay, I guess it didn't. It did not save. Let me just save it quickly. Yeah, no, pr uh, press it, whatever. Lin Q. Uh, MK11, number two, sept. So let me see if it actually saved. Okay, good, it did. So I'm gonna be using MK11 Sub-Zero, Scorpion, and Noob Cybot. And yeah, I'm just gonna start. And for MK11 Zero, Sub-Zero, since most of the, well, four of the, the Lin Q Tower equipment that you get from the tower, R for Sub Zero sp specifically. I gave him all four of those. So he should be very, very strong. There's literally like no point of like uh, using the equipment with him right now because he's gonna defeat them very quick. But whatever. Right now, I it took me for the 200th match. Normally, in the other ones, it took me like. At least 10 matches or less than that this time it took me more than 10 matches i'm not quite sure why i guess they kept on freezing me much more than this time but whatever when the attempt reset it at 11 pm it took me six matches to defeat them and before that it took me like at least more than other six matches as well but it's whatever. I already got my Circle of Shadow sub, uh, sub Zero and the two equipment you get. At so right now I'm only gonna be doing nine matches, and then I'm gonna continue tomorrow with the next thirty. So I'm gonna do 30, 39 matches in total for the first video, of course, and then I'm gonna continue from that. Because the first 39 matches are going to be very quick, since they're very easy. So I might as well put them together. Otherwise, I'm going to make th three or two videos, and I'd just rather do one. Put them all together. As you guys can see, they're going to be very, they're very easy to defeat right now. i just rather start from the, from the beginning all the way to the 200th match. 
guess I could start at like maybe the middle, but it just it just doesn't sit right with me. Starting from like match 100 or so, I have to do from from the first match all the way to the 200th match. It's just mandatory for me. They're defeated. Nice. I also have a... Uh, I made a Cold War team for Lin Q Tower. Since I have all three of them. It's a Cold War Sub-Zero. Um, Scorpion and Sonyan Blade. She's actually maxed for my diamond character. She's rank X, six, level 60. So she's very strong. But I'm gonna be using Sub-Zero instead. That should be for tomorrow for sure. I like that special. He like shoots a bunch of ice shards at them very quickly. But it's kind of annoying when you face him and he does that a lot. But other, other than that, it's a pretty cool sp um, sk special. So I think this is the last time. Well, not the last time. The last five matches, basically. Alright, he resurrects. Got defeated. Also, another tower equipment that is not from the Lin Q tower. That's actually very good for this tower and fits very well. It's from the White Lotus tower. Luckily, I have it. And it's. Is it ranked list or is it ranked like 1 or so? I don't remember. I'll show you right now. If you guys happen to have it, I recommend using it. I forgot who has it. It's Scorpion. Yeah, the uh yeah, it's rankless. I have I have it uh, with no rank. It's the Shen Shentai of the North. As you guys can see it apply you could you have eighty percent chance to apply Team Frost on special attack two. Then fifty fifty percent chance to gain shield upon applying frostbite or freeze. Then the other two things you cannot get that since it's it's not the White Lotus Tower. And if you have it maxed, you have one bar of power on tagging, so that's awesome. But yeah, it's a very nice equipment for this tower. Even though it's not from from this tower, it fits very well. I'm glad I have it. I would give it to Sub Zero, but like I said, this the four equipment he has equipped it literally have stated that um, they're meant for him basically because they have s specific abilities for him well so I obviously rather have those equipment with him I think this should be the last match so far, very, very quick and easy. I don't even have any equipment that does block break with him. But regardless, uh, he defeats them very quick. Doesn't matter if they're blocking. Thanks to the equipment, he's very strong. Hopefully in these uh, 200 matches, I'm able to max the, the bomb equipment. So there, I cannot continue anymore. Even if I change the team, I just don't have any more attempts for the left. And there's the other Sub-Zero I was talking about. Cold War Sub-Zero. And yeah, um... What was the other Sub-Zero I said I just ma ranked up? Oh, it was Circle of Shadow Sub-Zero. So pretty cool ranking up the Sub-Zeros, the Diamond Sub-Zeros. I actually, at the beginning of the Link Q Tower, I had gotten Circle of Shadow Sub-Zero 
as a new character and now he's rank one. So that's very cool. And I like the sub zeros, they're pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will continue tomorrow to continue the next 15 matches and the other 15 matches after 11 p.m. So I'll be back then. Alright, it is the next day, so I'm gonna continue with the um, Lin Q Tower. So now it's a boss. There's a boss every 10 matches, which is pretty cool because uh, you, do get, you do get gold characters after every boss battle. For the first 100 matches, matches it's, um, whatchamacallit, it's uh, regular gold characters for the the 100 battles after that, it's a uh, gold challenge characters. So since I have um, a bunch of those characters maxed, I'm gonna get souls a lot, which is great. There we go, I got a uh, Bojitsu Kong Jin. So I got souls and coins for him. So it's gonna be that way for every boss battle, I'm gonna be getting souls. Uh, um, unless I get someone like, who's a character I don't have maxed? Sector Triborg, I believe. He's not maxed, or he, she, whatever. And then there's some certain gold characters I also don't have maxed. I forgot who. Um, I think one of them is A-list Johnny Cage. But yeah, certain characters I don't have maxed. But I don't always get them. What I'm trying to do is definitely max the last uncommon equipment for Linku Tower that I haven't maxed. The um the bomb thing. I forgot what it's called. At the moment I'm using the MK11 team once again. But I'm gonna use them for like potentially 10 matches and then I'll switch to the Cold War team and use uh what's the name? Cold War Sub Zero. So yeah. Alright, who's next? Those three. But yeah, the matches are still gonna be very easy and quick. For the first few matches, there's the silver, I mean the bronze character, Lin Q, which the tower is named after. But um, it's mostly sub zeros after that, after like a couple matches. Let's see. Oh, nice. I haven't maxed that one. It's for Shirai, Shirai Ryu. One of the bronze characters. Interesting. I don't always keep up with the equipment. I mean the supports I max and whatnot. Sometimes I even get surprised that I even max them. For a certain character. Alright, he comes back because of country. He got defeated very quick. Why is he attacking so slow? Oh, because of the... I guess because he was frozen from Sub-Zero. Alright, easy matches. So after 11pm, the res the attempts are gonna reset once again. And I'm gonna include all three parts. This part, the part from yesterday night, which was like 9 matches if I remember. And then later, another 15 matches, all in one video. It's almost 11 p.m. too. It's 10.34. But I'll pro probably record the other 15 matches much later in the night. Alright, there we go. I mainly have to edit some uh, other videos and upload them because I, I haven't gotten gotten a chance to so 
So that's what I'm going to be doing first before recording anything else. This is the first time I'm going to be paying attention to when Lin Q doesn't appear anymore. Because I don't normally do. I just do the matches. With the autoplay. Nice, 36 souls. Very cool. This is what I mean. You end up getting a bunch of souls from this tower. Okay, there's no Lin Q there. Oh, great. He's attacking very slow and I'm not able to dodge or do anything. Damn it. What the heck did I just do? I didn't even mean to do that. I don't want that. Oh, great. I swear I don't know what I did. I'm not even... I don't even have my hands on the... On both those buttons for a screenshot. How do I even do that? I genuinely don't know how I did that. Whatever. Anyways, um, I got a support for Saurian, one of the bronze characters as well. I'm surprised I haven't maxed all the supports for the bronze characters. You would think I have, but I guess not. But whatever. Oh, there's Link Q's, two of them. With a green arrow. No, wait, um, Kong Jin. I swear, I always mix them up. Since he has a bow and he's green, I always think he's green arrow from Injustice. I think I'm just gonna keep up keep that uh screenshot that I that I did in the mid in the video. I'm gonna keep it in. I'm not gonna edit it out. It's too much work. Plus it was just an a mistake which I'm still confused on how I did that alright how many more matches left it hasn't been 10 yet oh, okay now it's 10. So now it's the last 5. And I'm gonna switch to... My Cold War team. I'm gonna be using Cold War Sub-Zero. To defeat them. Since the matches are still easy. So Sub-Zero versus Sub-Zero. Let's see who's the better Sub-Zero. Obviously mine. Nicely frozen. Very cool. I'm gonna go for the second special. Damn it. He was able to attack first. Okay. Oh wow. Didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. He did her brutality. Very cool. Another gold character that I have maxed. So I got souls again. Very cool. I like how the, um, there's a boss every 10 matches. It's actually pretty cool. And the good thing is that they don't, they don't make it super difficult. They make it somewhat um, difficult, but not like crazy difficult, if you know what I mean. So I like that. Sometimes I might... Wait, what happened? Oh, I have to hit her. Oh, wow. I was thinking she had an ice clone or something. But no, I had to hit her again. Anyways, I was going to say... There's certain boss matches I might lose like... Three times or so, but then defeat them. So that I don't mind that. I don't mind losing as long as it's not like ten times in a row. That gets annoying. All right now. Oh, great, he's... Well, now that I think about it, he tags in the weakest character that I have. But 
Oh, but because of the LenQ towers, Sub Zero is not the weakest. Now that I think about it, that makes sense. Because if you guys see their stats, he's the weakest. But with the LenQ towers, he gets a bunch of damage. Yeah, two hundred twenty percent dam boost damage boost. Um, two hundred percent max health. 50% damage boost, 100% max health, 96% damage boost, so yeah, that makes sense. He doesn't get that much with the equipment he has. So, okay, that totally makes sense. That Scorpion is the weakest, basically. I like the Sub Zero, he's pretty cool. They're they're all unique in their own way. I should I should try out Circle of Shadow Sub Zero. He's the only one I haven't tried out. From the three the three um diamond sub zeros. All right, I have to hit him. I keep on thinking he has the ice, ice clone. Like the thing that uh, MK11 Sub Zero does. Ice decoy, ice clone, whatever you want to call it. But I have to hit them when I freeze them. I'm just so used to, to like MK11 Sub Sub Zero or Grandmaster Sub Zero having the ice decoy or ice clone. So yeah, anyways. Just an honest mistake. Oh, there. That's all 15 matches. Also, I just want to check. I have three timing sub-zeros, right? There's Cold War. Yeah, Circle of Shadow sub-zero. And then there's the... Um, where is he? MK11 sub-zero. There he is. And yeah, there's only three. Because I was thinking maybe there's four, but no, there's three. There's three diamond sub zeros. No more than that. No, not him. I wanted to. Oh, I could get his um, x ray unlocked. I'll do that. Cool. I hadn't noticed before. No, not Tanya. Freaking Tanya. I want to click on him. Okay, so I want to max his second special. There we go. He's only level, only level 16, but I... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use him anymore, because I should have just used him at the beginning. The characters are getting a little stronger now. So I don't, I don't think there's a point to use him now. Even though he could get stronger with the equipment, though. But yeah, anyways, that is it. It was fun using the sub zeros, especially because of the equipment. They they get very strong. I could potentially make a all sub zero team with all the three diamond sub zeros, but I'd rather not. I think it's better this way with the Cold War or Circle of Shadow and whatnot. But anyways, I'm gonna continue later after 11 p.m. to continue the next 15 matches. All right, I am back once again. So I'm gonna continue. So 15 more matches. I'm starting off with my Cold War team that has Cold War Sub-Zero, of course. So it should be quick. I'm assuming these, how much matches is it gonna be? I think like 30 ma 39 matches, potentially. Uh, it should take like a uh, should be like a 40 minute video or somewhere around there. So let's see, attack him. He gets defeated. Now for Link Q. There's still Link Qs in the matches so far.
There we go. Nice. Okay, guys, special attack one for bronze character that I don't need anymore. I'm not even able to use it. Alright, he's defeated. So is Ermac. And the last one. Very quick and easy match. Very cool. Come on, what happened? There we go. I don't like when I accidentally like swipe up my screen a little bit. It's annoying. Cool, I like when he does that. Alright, one left. Doesn't matter who she tags in, I'm gonna defeat her regardless. There we go, very cool. Cool, how many did I get? 34. That's a nice amount. There's Kotokan. Two down, and now for Ermac. Very quick and easy. Okay, there's a boss for this match. It is classic, classic Sub-Zero. He's level 50, rank 4. Should I continue with these three? Sure, why not? Plus, if he gets tough, I could just defeat him with Sonya and Blade. Or Scorpion, I guess. Nice. I love when he does that. It's very cool. I think I should be able to defeat him. Damn it, he was able to attack. 94. And there we go, he got defeated. Very nice. Nice, I leveled up A list Johnny Cage. He is rank. 7 now which is very cool or he's defeated now for iron black and ermac very quick and easy Oh, there was two Kotokans, cool. And there, the match is over. I'm definitely gonna go to sleep after this. I'm feeling pretty sleepy. How many more matches do I have left? Technically seven, yeah, because uh, I gotta recharge the attempts again after these two matches.
Okay, I gotta load another preset, which will be my MK11 team. I think they should be able to defeat them. So last five matches. Oh, wow, I thought I clicked on on ready, but it didn't click on properly. Anyways, get defeated, Super Quanchi, now for Takeda. Very nice. Cool, he does the same. It's probably probably the equipment that helps them do that. Three matches left. There's two Jackie Briggs on this team. And a Quan Chi. Finally, the last match. So first is Kenshi. Now for Scorpion. And lastly, Liu Kang. Very quick and easy. Awesome. And that should be it, right? Yes, the next boss is gonna be Grandmaster Sub Zero. But, yeah, anyways, the attempt reset in 3 hours 6 minutes. But for now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next Mortal Kombat X video.